Welcome to composite functions. So when we look at the composite function, to get the output of the first function, it uses the result from the input of the second function. So it's a combination of two functions. Let's have a look at some examples. So we're going to use the function f of x equals x plus 3 and g of x equals 2x minus 5. And we're going to find a whole bunch of uh, different combinations. And you can see they're all in the format of a first function. So let's look at the first uh, look at a. f is the first function. g of 4 is the second function. So we're going to get an answer for the second function, an output for that, and put it into the first function, the f. So given that f of x equals x plus 3 and g of x is 2x minus 5, so for f of g of 4, so g of 4 is inside the f function, so we're going to find out what g of 4 is. So we just substitute 4 into the g function, and you get 2 lots of 4 minus 5, so you get 3. Take that output and put it into the first function, the f, and you get 3 plus 3 is 6. So this time the first function is g and the second function is f. So we put the 4 into the, first, uh, into the second function, which is f, 4 plus 3 is 7, and then take that 7 and put it into the, second, uh, into the first function, the g, and you get 14 minus 5 is 9. Sometimes we have uh, uh, two lots, so g of g of 4, so take the 4, put it into the, uh, in the value where the x is for g, and you get 2 lots of 4 minus 5 is 3. Take that 3 and put it back into g, because that is the first function, and you get g of 3, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5 is 1. What about if we actually put the function inside, so g of x, inside of the actual original function, or the first function, f of x? So that means for f of g of x, we have f, and the g of x we replace by what g of x actually is, 2x minus 5. So wherever there is an x in the f function, we replace it with 2x minus 5. So you get 2x minus 5 plus 3 gives you 2x minus 2. Similar if we do g of f of x. So you replace the f of x with x plus 3 because that's its function. And then for the g function, g of x, wherever there's an x, you replace now with x plus 3. So 2 outside of x plus 3 minus 5. Expand that bracket, you get 2x plus 6 minus 5, which is 2x plus 1. Thank you.